Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, <clears throat> Marat here and uh, this is going to be the uh, low prediction telescope for the upcoming week which is um, July 23rd to July, to July 29th, 2018. So this is going to be a, a four card spread for each uh, star sign starting from Aries all the way um, to Pisces. I'm gonna make our way all the all the way to Pisces. So um, a general four card spread again uh, because I have uh, encountered a lot of <laughs> a lot of comments, especially for the YouTube videos saying, uh, you know, this doesn't aff affect me to a hundred percent. Again, bear in mind that this is just a general reading. That is not your uh, personal reading. Therefore, uh, this reading could affect you. Uh, strong or less that that depends on your personal situation what we are going to um, observe with the general reading it is the tendency your star sign has it is not your tendency but your star sign tendency and from there of course uh, you can uh, you know you can make your some deductions or conclusions you know for what kind of an approach you may want to take regarding your personal life or an intimate life uh Beatrice, I'm so happy to have you all here, guys and girls. And uh, that being said, let's now shuffle. Uh, by the way, guys, the uh, the monthly videos are going to be up very shortly uh, with the extended readings as well for August. So uh, stay in tune for them at my uh, at my YouTube channel. <clears throat> all right. So now shuffling, going to Aries. By the way. Um, at the end of every stream, um, I answer questions from the audience and from you, uh, for that matter. And uh, if you want to have a free reading, basically this is the way you got it. You stay until the end of the stream or you catch me there by a chance and ask a question. And maybe you are going to get pulled out or rather like chosen, you know, to be answered. All right, so hello, Leticia. Yeah, I'm quite quite well, Linda. Thanks for asking. I hope you all guys are uh, are very well. Uh, by the way, the summer here it's not really a summer. It's usually when when the summer hits my my country, the uh, degrees comes to like the temperature raises to like 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're in Europe, counting the uh, Celsius scale. So I don't know how this is in far, uh, how much this is in Fahrenheit. It's kind of like 89 or 90 something degrees in Fahrenheit. Not entirely sure though, but it's really, really uh, hot. Anyway, so um, starting Aries first. Now, the first card for Aries, which uh, marks up the uh, tendency of, um, of their romantic life during the week, that is going to be uh, the temperance card. And the second one is what crosses the tendency, or rather, what obstructs the tendency so it depends what kind of a tendency card we do have it will define what kind of a card is going to be the crossing one so in other words if the tendency card is an unpleasant one then the crossing one shows how you can cross the uh the unpleasant one and tra traverse it into a pleasant and vice versa so the crossing card for uh, for temperance that is going to be the tree of uh, cups and then we do have past influence so something that carries on from the previous weeks into that particular week, that will be the Six of Swords. And then the last one is going to be a future influence, which is a, an influence you're going, you're going to encounter into that particular week. That will be the Queen of Cups. So I will show them once again, and then I'm going to place the cards down on my desk here on my table, uh, so I don't waft them in the air. Uh, so we do have first one that will be the uh, temperance, then is the three of cups. Afterwards, we do have the six of swords and the last one that will be the queen of cups. All right. So what happens here? 
is now because we do have the six of swords in from a, a past tendency it means that there were either a conflict or a confrontation uh, in between um, uh, in between you and somebody or in general your romantic life so in general something had to be changed uh, that carries on now into this week and because we do have the temperance there as a tendency it means that either your partner or somebody in your uh, uh, in your romantic circle you know either a person of interest it is uh, seriously consider making a compromise seriously reconsidering their strategy and being much more um, succumbed to your way of how you want to do the things you know but what we do have is the Tree of Cups, which crosses the tendency of the Temperance, which means that there will be an external influence upon the um, upon the approach of that person of interest or of your partner. So, in other words, let's say your partner is deciding that uh, actually you got a point here, and they have to be a little bit more milder against you. Although they will have a friend or a, a number of people around them saying them vice versa. So we do have external people influencing uh, your romantic circle or your, your romantic life in a way that they are um, traversing the vision of how things should move on forward in a negative side so what you can do in order to do so is aim to spend more time with either the person of interest or with your partner and don't allow kind of like don't leave them to uh, make a decision on their own in the sense of that you stay like no factor whatsoever so you have to try to influence as much as you can um, their um, their not their approach but rather like their conclusions all right and uh, afterwards for you Aries we do have the Queen of Cups which is the future influence and Queen of Cups this points to a, a solidifying one's emotional um, one's emotional connection and one's emotional standpoint to a point where you feel secure emotionally so what happens uh, just to summarize about that week is um, what happens is that you're going to have a chance to reach a common ground with either a person of interest or with your partner because they're going to realize that you have been uh, right regarding a statement or regarding a, a proposal that you have done, although they will have people from a side to influence them uh, in other way around. So, for example, a very good friend of theirs will say, come on, man, you're not you're not serious about being succumbed to uh, your girlfriend, let's say, uh, opinion here. But nonetheless, if you stay close, if you keep your uh, person of interest or your partner close, you're going to overcome that influence and then you're going you're going to have that stable um, emotional standpoint from which things can develop even furthermore and you're going to be support for one another all right so that was uh, that was for Aries now uh, shuffling guys and we're going to Taurus All right, so the uh, prime tendency for Taurus is that will be the King of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have what crosses the King of Pentacles or the crossing tendency. This is going to be the Eight of Cups. Then we do have a, a carry-on tendency or a pass tendency which influences the current situation. And then we do have a future tendency which is the, the, the star card is the past tendency. And then we do have the Five of Pentacles which is the future tendency or what Taurus are going to have to face due, um, as the week progresses. 
So with these cards, it does look like uh, Taurus is that uh, it all hangs into a, a balance. And under a balance, I mean that as much as you give is just as much as you're going to pull out from that. So because we do have the star card as a past tendency, uh, this card is kind of saying that you can rely on a certain support, unconditional one, and also unfolding love either from a person in your surrounding or from your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, etc, etc. The thing with the star card is that it does develop very slowly. So, uh, in other words, uh, in case, well, you should be, you know, in case you are starting to improve your relationship, it may not improve with the speech you are uh, you would like to improve all right so you have to be a little bit more patient and on top of that we do have the king of uh, the king of pentacles which means that you have to as well invest more or rather give so you can demand it is kind of something i have learned in in my second grade that before you actually want something before you actually expect something to be given to you you first have to give something in return so basically, this is uh, this is the situation here, you know, how much you're willing to invest into your relationship or into the person of interest or in general into your romantic life, because that could be as well investment into a makeup, you know, investment into going out um, on pubs and discos so you can meet different people. So it's about investments, you know, it's about tra tra transferring from your singular life, life into your um into your romantic life so you can increase the chances to meet somebody in case you are single or so you can increase the chances to see uh, to make your partner see that you do care and you do give a crap about what is going to happen with your relationship now the end of cups here as a crossing uh, as a crossing tendency excuse me um, what the hell Anyway, so um, the crossing tendency does point that uh, at, at the start, especially if this is about interaction with, with another person, all right? So let's say it's about your boyfriend or a girlfriend and you are investing in there. So the Eight of Cups points that your investment will not have immediate repercussions. Or rather, you will not see the result of your uh, of your investments straight away, which could seriously discourage you, which could make you despondent even. Although the Eight of Cups points that you should not give up and you should continue on moving on that path that you have chosen. So you eventually face a perspective that you do want because the Eight of Cups as a crossing tendency points that you are about to and it's very likely to find the right approach, the right way to approach and influence the situation the way you want to um the way you want to have it so what happens afterwards guys that will be the five of pentacles five of pentacles points to i think on an event which is going to happen which especially is going to consolidate relationships that are in a bad spot in a bad shape because the eight of uh, the the five of pentacles excuse me this is a card where two people were facing difficulties together so uh, just to show you the cards we do have a, a, a winter here and um people are left out in the cold you know but there are two people seemingly seemingly oh my god it's it's 3 a.m in my place and um, anyway so two people facing the same circumstances one male one female you know i mean there is no way out of it i mean you got to support and collaborate with one another to uh, overcome the issue that goes into the relationship and not even into the relationship but as well in life in general so that being said even if your relationship isn't in a very good shape this week you Tauruses are gonna have the chance to show to your partner um, how valuable you are for them I mean how valuable that relationship is for them and for you and for all for that matter and for some even it's going to be like they will not be able to survive without the relationship oh my god just one second guys just one second Alright, so I hope it's dealt with. Anyway, so that was for Taurus. Now, um, 
going into uh, Gemini. Thank you, Beatrice, for the compliment. Uh, Jenny, perhaps you can. I mean, uh, at the end of the stream, I will draw cards for several people, which are going to be chosen randomly, though. Uh, so when I'm done with Pisces, so you can stay at, until the end of the stream or you can catch me there by a chance and you ask your question there and probably you're going to be chosen. Who knows? Hello, Lorna. I don't know why this stupid Facebook does not does hold the comments into one place static so I can't see your comments properly anyway so here goes nothing for Gemini now ace of wands is the uh, tendency that they're gonna have for the duration of the week with the six of wands which is the crossing tendency then is the past influence that carries on that will be the nine of cups and afterwards we do have future tendency here with the king of pentacles all right so these are the cards for gemini I, i'm leaving them on my table and what happens here pretty straightforward interpretation guys that will be an, an interest that you're gonna have despite either you are in a relationship or not this is an interest entirely off topic of one relationship very well displayed here in the ace of uh, wands six of wands nine of cups points that recently you have made an impression into somebody all right somebody that seriously likes you somebody that seriously feels the vibes against you you know or towards you should i say uh, someone that really wants to see if there is a uh, uh, there is a potential we can can you be together so um what happens here is that the Ace of Wands is a tendency points that there could be a sex happening in between you and that person during the duration of the week. Now, what crosses that tendency is the Six of Wands, which points that you should not allow to have sex during that week. It is kind of like, you know, it's a little bit of a controversy here, saying that uh, in case you do decide to have a sex with this person, uh, then um, the situation is going to burn out very fast all right so probably it's going to be a one night thing uh so what you need to do instead of kind of be a little bit more uh how can i place it a little bit more conservative you know a little bit more uh distant should i say it that way it's kind of like you know allow that person to take full advantage of of the situation not of you by any means but of the situation you know and uh play with them a little bit of a game of flirting that is displayed here with the King of Pentacles, which points to a future influence. Uh, and the future influence does suggest to you, Geminis, to really put under a test, you know, put to the test how serious these people who approach you are. All right. So uh, this is um, this reading again is despite are you in relationship or not. OK, so it's kind of like a, a passion that comes and goes. And most likely, as I said, it is a prerequisite of or of having an affair in case you are in relationship or you do have a family or, uh, you know, it could be a, a one night thing if you are not careful enough. I mean, careful enough in a sense, if you are not kind of like uh, make your point that you want something serious in case you do want serious uh, something serious, you know, but if you are up to one night thing, then by all means feel free to go and catch your um, cut your chances or kind of you know get your chances now that was for Gemini now going to cancer
All right, so cancer tendency uh, of the week. This is going to be uh, the nine of wands. Afterwards, we do have the crossing tendency, which is the strength card. Afterwards, we do have past tendency or rather past influence that carries on lover's card. And uh, the future tendency that we do have is going to be the fool. So very promising for cancer, especially for those which are single. These four cards is what we do have here, guys. All right. So what happens? Uh, nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is as a, a current situation or rather like as a current tendency. It is the urge of being with somebody. All right. It is the urge of uh being one whole in a sense of that combining yourself with somebody else so in other words especially those who are single they will have that um urge to be with somebody so this uh, this week uh you should not be surprised cancers in case you're single if you're feeling extra lonely i mean if the loneliness is really amplified as a sense one second so what happens uh, is that we do have a strength card as a crossing tendency, which really points to the, uh, uh, how can I place it? A uh, lack of self-preservation is in a sense of that you will not have the, uh, not just only the patient, you know, guys, but as well the, um, I don't know really the English word for that particular term, but it's kind of like you will not care. You will not have the sense of emergency for to uh, reconnoiter a pot potential suitor or your partner for that matter so it's really about uh, jumping into uh, jumping into venture by taking an, a, a risk all right so this is what we're talking about here jumping into venture uh, by uh, not realizing that you are taking a, a certain risk with those couple of cards and then we do have the lovers as a um, as a past influence that carries on. So lover's card in that particular case points that whoever is in front of you, either potential suitor, you know, recent lover that you do have, current relationship, etc., etc. That card points that things are starting to uh, get a little bit uh, in an opposition, or they have started. You know, and that process, you know, that process you know, is ongoing. So the lover's card does expresses up the differences in between two people. So what you are, your partner isn't, and what your partner or a person of interest is, you aren't. And then we do have the full card. Uh, these couple of cards are related, really. So <clears throat> full card points that you have to be a lot, uh, that you need to be quite of a carefree, spontaneous, and open for whatever new is coming. So you can kind of accept those differences because this time around cancer for that week, should you be in a relationship, it is not because you totally synergize with your partner, but because the differences that you do have in between one another, it is what makes you special for one another. All right. So it's kind of like very unique and different type of relationship that you are about to experience and uh that could as well happen into your current relationship where things are starting to change so don't be afraid of it guys it's just give yourself to it completely right so um that was for cancer now shuffling going to leo hello katie
Uh, let's see. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you. So, I'll uh, use for you the uh, tendency of the week for your romantic life that is going to be the hangman. And then we do have a crossing tendency of uh, nine of wands. Then we do have past influence, which is going to be the page of wands. And the future influence, that will be the eight of swords. Pretty interesting. So, what happens here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Leos? As that if your love life isn't going very well, it is because it is uh, that your strategies or rather like your approach toward it, it is quite outdated. Displayed here by the hangman points that current attempts to do whatever you want into either one relationship or into either one sing singular life where you're trying to impress somebody around you are quite outdated and things aren't budging out anymore and continuing or rather like pushing and um, incorporating toils into that particular life path or kind of like lifestyle will prove utterly futile. So what you need to do here with the hangman is to uh, just take a deep breath, you know, and probably in that week, nothing really big is going to happen here. But you could reflect your strategies, guys, and by you doing so and carefully thinking about what exactly are you doing wrong, exactly that you are going to get much different perspective upon the situation that is going to present you with the answers you need how you can um, how you can you know improve your state of uh, relationship status and the crossing tendency is the nine of wands and what we said about the nine of wands it is about tendency of merging you know in between two people and it's crossing so you're crossed by that in other words it's not going to happen that week unfortunately and if you are in an existing relationship you can expect that things Things could go a little bit more colder with your partner, but we're not talking about here for breakups. Just a little bit, you know, of a distance that may uh, appear in between you and your partner regarding your relationship. Carry on uh, or past influence with the page of wants this point for some sort of an immature behavior you had in the past. Uh, it could be that you have bruised upon something into your relationship or upon a specific person uh, into, you know, into your lifestyle or rather like into your romantic circle. And that's why, you know, things aren't going very well. And unfortunately, what has done has been done and cannot be erased that uh, easily here with the Eight of Swords and with the Eight of Swords as your future influence, kind of we do have a... Um, a glimpse of understanding what you ha what has to be your uh, different perspective here. And instead of trying to bruise yourself upon, it is best to elaborate. So in other words, you need to be a little bit more clear and specific what you want from the people around you, especially of interest, you know, or partners, etc., etc. So communications should be a virtue for you, Leo, rather than actions. All right, so that was Leo now shuffling, going to Virgo. All right, Virgo, a um, weekly tendency for you to have uh, the Queen of Cups. Crossing tendency, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. So afterwards, we do have a Seven of Cups as a, um, 
uh, as a, a past tendency or rather like a past influence that will carry on and then we do have a future influence which is the uh, king of cups and this is so specific uh, uh, the emperor excuse me so this is so specific uh, it's, uh, if that's a question or a specific person I would say that that person wants to walk away or rather like escape you know be free kind of break or whatever you know part ways it's just go away from a specific relationship and this is because the seven of cups are falling into a, a past influence which carries on which is the realization that one person is um, repeating an old mistake so basically that relationship a person is in Vir Virgo it's kind of turning away uh, the same way as a poignant relationship they had in the past so basically the history repeats itself so what happens here is Queen of Cups is an ongoing tendency or rather weekly tendency. And uh, in that specific case, that card speaks for only the attempt one to persevere or rather like to conserve whatever has. So in other words, it is the attempt to make additional emotional connection with either the person or of interest or either with your partner. Although the tree of uh, wands is crossing the tendency which speaks that the patterns that has to be taken or in other words, a patterns of healthy relationship will not be in present. All right. So there will be no patterns that indicate a healthy relationship. So what you can do here goes both ways or a couple of ways. We have the emperor as a um, future influence. So uh, the emperor is either a savior of yourself or savior of your relationship status. So you can save your relationship status, either, you know, dating with a person or being in a relation in a relationship, etc., etc., Virgos, by exerting control and being uh, and dominate upon your partner. All right, so you have to dominate. If you don't dominate, then uh, you obviously repeat the same mistake of despondent relationship from the past, and things aren't going to work in your favor. Or the emperor could speak that you take the responsibility of recognizing that this is kind of like repeating itself from the past, you know, and you know that things didn't really turn out very well. And what you do is just leave. Either way, uh, at the end, you will have more personal freedom. So it's all about your personal freedom here. So that being said, when you embark your week here regarding your personal life, Virgo, or your romantic life, ask yourself how free you are regarding romance. And are you not depending on someone else? So basically, that will give you rather like a, a hint of how should act upon the energy of the emperor. And the energy of the emperor is about... Uh, taking control upon your situation, all right, one way or another. If you cannot take control upon the person that you are with, then you have to go without that person and take control upon your situation, all right. So at the end, you have to end up by exerting total control upon your romantic life. So afterwards, we go to uh, Libra. Funny thing about Libra it is what, and Scorpio as well, it is what I am observing recently with my weekly readings is that Libra and Scorpio has a, a extremely high potential to be with a new relationship, all right? It's kind of like, especially in the last three uh, weeks, it's kind of uh, that tendency, you know, of uh, a new person emerging, something very good happens, etc., etc., which can rather unlock... Um, let's say you know your uh, romantic emotions or rather like your eagerness to be involved with somebody whoever that somebody is though doesn't matter hello everybody oh, hello everybody who I did not greet it uh, when they have um, joined the stream Unfortunately, I cannot keep a good track on your um, on your comments. Something is wrong with the commenting system here on the live stream.
All right. Libra. And we do have it here, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> just like, uh, by the way, this is also, I think, with the weekly reading here. It's just when, when these kind of things follow up and they are a chain, you know, they are strings, they kind of make a, a strong impression in me. So, weekly tendency for Virgo Romantics life, that will be the Ace of Cups. Then we do have the Queen of Pentacles as a, a crossing tendency and the Judgment as a, uh, a past influence that carries on. Then we do have the Ten of Cups as a, a future influence. So if this isn't a chance, Libra, to be in a very loving and, how can I place it, a very fruitful, all right? Fruitful was the word I was searching for. Uh, relationship in this week, I don't know what it is, you know. The only problem that I see here, that will be the Queen of Pentacles crossing up. So that card speaks that Libra are still stuck with something from the past, or in other words, they may have that uh, remnants, should I say. They, they may have that um, hope that they could rekindle something which is kind of like um, obstructing them, should I say, to, to take advantage of the new circumstances that arise. And the new circumstances with the Ace of Cups are a circumstances of love. So what happens, however, Ace of Cups, very different from Two of Cups and from Ten of Cups for that matter, the Ace of Cups is the overall, the purest energy of, of love, you, you know. So, Libras, uh, you should not expect someone to approach you that week. You are the one who are approaching, all right? It's just what you need to do is open yourself for the love, guys. Nothing more. And things should kind of like... Um, things should, should kind of should kind of work. You know, in your favor, as long as you are not as well stuck into the in in the past. And uh, I think I s said it um, in the weekly reading as well. I refer way too much to the weekly reading. By the way, if you haven't watched it, you can check on my YouTube channel and see for yourself that the cards are very very similar there. Anyway, so uh, what I like to say here, uh, Libras, is that. Yesterday, guys, is yesterday, and if you try to recapture it any day from now on, the only thing that you're going to lose, that will be tomorrow. So there is no point uh, being stuck in yesterday, trying to recapture it, uh, kind of like accusing yourself of something for whatever happened back then in the past. But instead, you know, you have to start looking straight forward into the future. And how you can do so? Well, you do have the Judgment card here as a past influence. So if you are single, somebody gave you a hint, somebody asked you out, somebody texts you something that you are gorgeous, that you are beautiful, adorable, etc., etc. And you have to pick, on that, pick up on that. I mean, return back the text, return back the call, accept the proposition for a dinner, for example, or for a cinema or whatever. I mean, take the chance. And what happens afterward is that we do have the Ten of Cups, guys, and Ten of Cups is the state of uh, emotional stability in a sense of that you're going to find yourself very pleased and very comfortable of what emotional uh, connection you do have with that person, either your partner or either someone new. And the thing with the Ten of Cups is that um, a very fast things escalates and in sense of that one of and usually most of the time both of the people, um, they ask for more. So it is uh, the tendency here because after Ten of Cups things rotate and we go again to the Ace of Cups where the things are kind of evolving and are jumping into the next level. So Libra really have, um, Libra, uh, Libra, excuse me, really have that uh, potential here to uh, create a, a very solid and well harmonious relationship. Things, however, you need to know that these are all minor arcanas apart from the uh, Judgment card, 
which points that you can miss that opportunity. And by seeing it now a couple or maybe three weeks in a row, that tendency, it speaks to me that it's going to burn out very quickly. So probably you do have the last train that week, maybe the next week as well. So I suggest you seriously look around yourself and see who is there which wants to give you love. Now, uh, that will be the end of Libra, or rather like the end of the Libra's reading, and now shuffling going to Scorpio, and here goes nothing with Scorpio. Actually, I, will, I, I can use a good reading for Scorpio, you know. I could really use a good reading. All right, here goes nothing. We do have the tendency that is going to be the ace of the the eight of swords. Oh my God, it is just. And then we do have the crossing tendency, which is going to be the devil card. Then we do have the uh, past influence, which is going to be the knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles. That will be the future tendency here. Oh my God, this doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense because the uh, past tendency here with the Knight of Pentacles points that, or at least it doesn't make much sense with me, is that uh, this is a um, either a jump into the old branches, which means that uh, that is an attempt of reconciliation, or it could be that a, a new emotions are emerging, but not necessarily with the Scorpio, all right? These uh, these emotional emerges here, uh, em emotional emerging here uh, could happen in another person, all right, who actually is having a Scorpio as interest. So you may not feel anything toward anybody around you guys, but uh, someone around you definitely feels something for you. So uh, this is about, you know, the... Um, the past influence that carries on. Knights of Pentacles is very strong uh, because these emotions are really sincere and very determinate. However, uh, because the Knights of uh, Pentacles is uh, kind of like a, a very arid person, uh, it's very hard for them to kind of reveal themselves. They will not uh, admit, okay? They will not uncover that they do have a an, an emotions for you and it is very likely as well that this person is kind of um categorized as a friend of yours so what happens here is tendency eight of swords there is a disturbance in the communication or rather there cannot be an, an expression i mean this person tries to give you signs but you cannot interpret those signs because the way that they are giving you those signs or those signals are really stupid ways or immature etc etc that they they can they they could be interpreted many different varieties or them very diff many different versions and um Basically, that's the week. I mean, one thing left unfinished here. I mean, you, you cannot really um, finalize the situation in between you and this person. And as the devil sits on the crossing side or is the crossing tendency, that means, Scorpio, that there there is a, a lot of... Uh, because here, for a rare occasion, the devil sits, at least to me, as a sexual power. You know, yeah, your sexual power will not be able to, uh, to kind of uh, be released, all right? Even though there will be a sexual attraction, yet your sexual power will not be able to be released. Until we do have the King of Pentacles. So what happens here with the King of Pentacles is instead 
of uh, you and that person being one on one, you know, explaining one another, maybe you have to bring some friends into the matter. I mean, uh, you could share with their with a common friend what you feel, so your common friend could pass it uh, pass it through to that person, you know, etc. etc. These kind of teenage um, teenage um, boo uh, things which we did when we were. Uh, students etc etc you know when you are shy to really uncover your emotions and your feelings and you ask someone else to do it for you to the person that you like etc etc so that that could take place as well um this week but the thing is that uh, there will be a serious disruption in between the sharing or explaining how one feels during that week so um if you, uh, how can I place it? If you Scorpio are seriously shy or rather like you uh, think that the things are going to get really bad turn if you share, um, if you share what you feel, then you can try to use a joke to do it. Okay, do it through jokes uh, or through presumptions and that should play very well for you. All right, so that was Scorpio now going to Sagittarius. My God, I'm feeling so sleepy, guys. By the way, right now is 3.48 a.m. at my place. <laughs> feeling so sleepy. All right, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands is going to be uh, the weekly tendency. Then we do have a crossing one, the crossing tendency with the Two of Pentacles, past influence that is going to be the Ten of Wands. And then we do have Ten of Pentacles as a future influence. So double tens and the ten means completion or completion in any case. Although, num numerology-wise, 1 and 0, um, one, in, uh, 1 and 0 does represent as well problems in initiations when it doubles. So, well, Teresa, again, it's a tendency. It is not your personal reading. It doesn't make many sense, much sense for me as well. But most of the people that are represented by that star sign probably are experiencing something similar that I have described. Although with four cards, I cannot cover the, blo the global population of Scorpios. Because, for example, now the Jupiter is in Scorpio. People say that, or astrologers are saying that we Scorpios are going to have immense luck. But I haven't won lottery yet, though, you know. As a matter of fact, not much things has, has changed. To be honest, I have a terrible luck. All right. So, but that doesn't make it untrue. You know, that Jupiter adds a, uh, a luck to our sign. Anyway, so, um, yeah, where were I? Page of Wands. That will be the ongoing tendency for the week. So what happens with the Page of Wands is that the Sagittarius has to be open for everything new. And when it comes to interactions here, guys, uh, this is a, about new enterprises. So rather like you need to show that you are um, a, a person of many versatilities. I hope that you have understood me very well. Uh, my point here is, is that uh, you need to show that you are not a very conservative person in the sense of that you are open to experiment with enterprises, all right? So, for example... And so, for example, uh, if you usually don't go to cinema, that should not be an obstruction uh, if you have someone that wants to... to um, you know, to invite to invite you for a cinema that because you don't have an interest in it, that should not be an obstruction for you to make a, a connection. Uh, that being said, the page of um, 
the Page of Wands represents the Chubei experience the world romantic wise from a, a different gaze. Also, that could be an experimentation into one's sex life. All right, so you can try a different stance. Anyway, so Page of Wands points, guys, that you need to be very active as well. All right, so you should not turn out any proposition whatsoever for hanging out going on a date or in general you know spending time with people that are potential suitors what crosses here is the two of pentacles which points that the uh, activities are going are going to be more than you can actually handle so in other words you have to be picky or uh, it could be that things are covering or uh, are kind of like a covering one another in the sense of that for the same hour, both people are asked you to a, a spend time with them. So it's kind of like um, a involving into a uh, making a choice which person you want to spend a time with. All right. And for that reason, we do have a, a ten of wands, which speaks that for for that people wants your attention and wants to spend time with you, they are going to pull out leverage. So in other words, they will, if you choose another one over them, they will ask you to return a favor, all right? And, or kind of like they will make you feel guilty that you're not spending time with them because they spent time with you somewhere in the past, etc., etc. The bottom line here is, is that they are going to try to make you do it. And it's not going to be accepted very well by you because the Page of Wands generally is a card of freedom. And with the Ten of Wands carries on from the past, we do have a, um, a, a process of depraving one's freedom, all right? So when you start being deprived from your freedom, it's pretty much going to ring a bell which person is really um, more... Um, joyful for you, or rather like a, it's a better match. And then we do have the Ten of Pentacles at the end, which is the future tendency or the future influence the two Sagittarius are going to experience now. Ten of Pentacles does represent um, building up into trust, in between two people unfortunately it's a very slow developing card so in other words if you are single it is unlikely that this week you are going to find yourself into a relationship but in the same time you will have a, a very serious suitor on your tail you know you know that is trying to uh, be involved with you in general but the thing is that with that card it's kind of you will not be prone to um, give your freedom way too easily all right so uh, you will still want to kind of conserve um, some of your free space you know some of some of your activities which usually when you are with somebody they cannot be uh, done for example just to give you an example with myself although I'm not Sagittarius I like to play games and obviously when I'm in relationship I have to severely abate my gaming time you know so and that kind of sucks but anyway so something like this with uh, this is the tendency for uh, Sagittarius now shuffle, shuffling and we go to uh, Capricorns. Gosh dang it, I have to buy myself a new tarot deck. This one already got um, damaged from the uh, Riffle Shuffle I do. But if I don't do a Riffle Shuffle, I don't feel that the cards are meshed very well, you know, that the cards are not merely random. Uh, they are not random usual, but, um, you know, by, by a creed, but... Uh, Although when you do a riffle shuffle, because you knock them one against the other, it's kind of believed that you um, 
kind of wash away the the energies from the previous reading etc etc i like to do riffle shuffles all right so uh capricorns uh the tendency that will be the five of wands the weekly tendency and then we do have the card which crosses them or rather like the tendency which crosses the weekly one that will be the five of cups we have double fives so it's time for change guys and then we do have two of cups as a past influence that carries on just this card is going to be the future influence that will be double choose so it's about to make a change it's it's a time to make a change so you can make your environment into your romantic life much more uh, calm and peaceful. All right, so that is all about. This is the um, cumulative vibration of those two numbers. So what you need to do here with the five of wands and the five of cups is crossing into one another. Uh, that could be a couple of things, all right? first thing is that uh, you may have to submit unfortunately that's one of the ways you can actually pass through whatever difficulties you do have into your social circle submitting to uh, the situation and going on from there because once you submit that situation will be entirely forgotten and from there uh, you can start building up a new perspective that is one of the way but uh, sometimes and especially you Capricorns as much as I know you're not very good you, you don't handle uh, defeat very well even if that defeat is in reality victory all right so uh, as far as I know from you Capricorns because a very good friend uh, one of my best friends is a Capricorn and I know that, you know, they don't handle disappointment or a, uh, um, a loss very well. As I said, even if that loss is in reality win. Uh, then the other option available for you is to be uh, rather clever. I would say, uh, I was about to say sneaky, but it is not sneaky, it's clever. All right, so not smart, not sneaky, clever. So what will happen here is um, a tendency will allow you to take an upper hand by oppressing your partner with a shenanigan your partner is about to do. All right, so your partner is going to mess up really uh, well. I mean, they're, they're really going to put the toils behind it so they can mess up severely into your relationship and that could give you um the upper hand you know to take control and to start demanding either way it seems that this relationship even if right now may seem kind of doomed and gloomed and it seems that it's going to fall apart or the potential you know interaction with the suitor it seems that it's not going to work out etc etc uh the two of cups points that you already have a certain bondage here and it is not going to be that easy to part ways as a matter of fact the parting ways is not going to happen during that particular week because there is some sort of a shared emotion in between you and that person you know so uh what is advisable here is to continue on sharing and if you have uh, difficulties outside of your romantic life in a sense of your um you know your uh, your work friendship circle etc etc will benefit you a lot if you share them in your romantic life in the sense of that you share what kind of a difficulties you do have outside of there so shared pain can become a half the pain and the shared happiness could become double happiness and afterwards we do have the justice card which is sitting as a future influence so that card points that at the end, no matter what you do, all right, either, either part you take, you know, the part of submission or the part of um, being smart, or not smart, excuse me, clever, because there is a difference. Um, either part you take, it has its pros and cons. 
And at the end with the justice card, it seems that you will have to take a, a very important decision. That decision will regards to what kind of responsibility, uh, responsibilities, excuse me, your partner has to take care of and you has to take care of. And in order that relationship to work out, those responsibilities needs to be spread equally. All right. Equally. That is the virtue of your game regarding your relationship life that week. Equal contribution in that. Otherwise, I ain't going to work out, at least according to my cards. Or rather, the tendency will become so grim and so dark that it's, it's not going to be anybody's favor. Alright, so uh, after Capricorns going into Aquarius, at the end, guys, I will answer questions. So uh, a little bit more, that is what you need to endure. And then you can, uh, you can ask your questions here in a quick blitz. In which, on which I'm going to answer with uh, pulling one tarot card. Per question, per person, very important. All right. Aquarius. Is. Uh, weekly tendency, that will be the high priestess. So then we do have a crossing tendency of the Seven of Cups. Past influence that carries on, this is going to be the star card. By the way, this is the turning point. I mean, according to that card, it, it, was, um, uh, it was defined either this reading is going to be a positive one or a negative one. And for, um, you know, for your benefit or whatever I was about to say is that this reading is going to be a positive one then we do have the future influence which is going to be the uh judgment card so what happens here for you aquarius is, is that uh you are about to make an emotional connection with a person or with somebody <clears throat> and that emotional connection doesn't have to be uh with the someone that you don't know or even uh, it doesn't have to be uh, with someone that it is not your partner right now. As a matter of fact, the high priestess does uh, support the, the thesis that uh, you and your partner, in case you do have such, you know, um, are going to even get more strong in emotional connection to a point where your souls are going to bind with one another. So in other words, we do have a bondage here on a soul level with the high priestess. What crossing it, however, is the seven of cups. And seven of cups points that based on that bondage in between you and your partner, in between you and uh, a potential suitor, you know, or in between you and your life in general, because that could be as well in between you and your singular life, in the sense of that you may, you may like to be single, all right, because you like the freedom and that will be that will put the tendency of that you will no longer want to be involved with anybody else. So uh, <clears throat> seven of cups points to a uh, overly exaggerating the potential of what may happen. That being said, one being one is prone to believe in celluloid outcomes. One is prone to believe in leave happily ever after one is prone to believe that the 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 worst has been passed away you know and from now on only thing that follows are red carpets and uh, roses which isn't true all right so yeah you do have a, a very positive period of time in which you can really enjoy the emotional connection and the soul bondage but you as well need to be mindful that that time will be over and you have to get back to reality, Aquarius. And then we do have the judgment card, which is the future influence. And judgment card could lead to a couple of things. Judgment card could lead you to pregnancy, all right? 
Judgment card could lead you to the to your soulmate. As much as I hate to say it, we do have here a conditions and prerequisites that one could meet their soulmate further into the future. All right. Although I don't believe in soulmates, twin flames, etc., etc., I believe in uh, I believe that if you are meant to be happy and loved, you will be. Whom with that is entirely your choice. However, these cards, I cannot deny it, is that they uh, have the tendency to lead you to your soulmate or a twin flame. All right. So this is another version of how the judgment could play out. And the third way of how the judgment could play out for you, Aquarius, is, is that uh, you may reach a um, big resolution or rather like a, a big compromise and much bigger than the compromise of uh, of the temperance card this compromise is about realizing that uh, you cannot kind of fight with that thing because that thing will be everywhere you go so in other words you realize that people were just what they are um, and males for example it's uh, you may hate um, someone uh you know um, how can i place it you may hate that someone is fishing okay but 95 percent of males like to fish so in other words you may realize that you uh, need to overcome your hatred of fishing so you can be with someone at last okay so something like this it's kind of like realizing that uh, the vision of that you do have uh regarding your criteria it is a little bit off and you have to readjust it in a certain way so you can uh, actually not even make the compromise but unlock that niche you need so you can involve yourself with someone around you and last but not least now going to uh, Pisces I don't know what my nose is itching so itchy I know that when your right ear, I think, is itchy, that means that someone speaks behind your back. When your left or right hand was itchy, when one of the hand, when one of the hand is itchy, then you are gonna give money. When when the other hand is itchy, then you are gonna get money. I don't know what means when your uh, nose is itchy. It means something. is a fool what do you mean Well, I hope that the reason is for good. I mean, for something good, you know, to happen rather than to rob me, for example, or to stab me to death. Because <laughs> someone is coming in this very broad, you know, um, how can I place it? It's a very broad event. It could come for everything, literally. And if it comes for my PlayStation, oh my God, we're going to have war. Anyway, so Pisces. We have a five of pentacles as a uh, uh, weekly tendency, and then that will be the queen of uh, wands as a uh, a queen of wands as a uh, crossing tendency here. Then uh, that will be the five of swords as a uh, past influence that carries on. Three of swords as a future influence. Oh my God, Pisces! You do have a an enemy. You do have a rival, and all of your obstacles, all of your problems, all of your issues regarding your romantic life, especially if you are in a relationship right now, are caused by an, an exterior person. Uh, the same one. I like reader weight. 
Uh, so, where were I? Yeah, five of uh, pentacles ongoing tendency means that uh, you Pisces are gonna have difficulties in multiple fronts regarding your relationship life this week. All right, crossing card. Queen of Wands means that someone is causing those difficulties. That could be a, someone related to your partner or it could be someone related to you. For example, a very common um, example for that, especially for teenagers, is when their parents are dictating their lifestyle, especially if that lifestyle is not very appealing for the suitors. All right. For example, the parent... Uh, um, kind of for prohibits makeups, prohibits uh, a, a modern dressing, etc., etc., only approves conservative conservative dressing, etc., etc. So uh, these couple of cards points that someone is causing issues. And that someone, it's, uh, uh, it's very known, by the way, because these people, they usually like to be... Uh, on a heads of everything so they want to be uh the leaders of the situation because that could be very well you know someone that likes to uh, call the shots as a matter of fact that is someone that likes to call the shots that could be the mother of your uh, girlfriend or a boyfriend that could be their very best friends who thinks that they can exert opinion or you know it could be your mother or father or your brother or sister etc etc so um <clears throat> Thank you, Ther uh, thank you, Teres. Thank you. So, uh, what happens here and why this is happening? Five of Swords, which is the um, past influence that carries on. And as much as I hate to say it, guys, it happens because it can happen. So that person can do it. So it is why they do it. You know. Uh, in this particular cases, I like to say that you know. A particular thing does not belong to the one who um, who deserves it, but it belongs to the one who takes it. So basically, that person currently uh, has better means. So rather like it, uh, rather like it has a, a better um, a better standpoint. It has the upper hand, and that's why it, that's why this person is causing these issues. That could be as well. Uh, as someone that likes your woman or likes your ma man, uh, if you are in relationship and they are spreading rumors, Queen of Wands, that is a very jealous person and it could spread rumors around lies, etc., etc., just so it can hurt your relationship. So what you need to do here, Tree of Swords, Future Tendency, that is confrontation with the full truth, all right? So you have to stand for your rights. And you have to say the truth. You should not allow that person to continue on and do these things any longer. And under saying truth, I mean, for example, if we are following the teenager's example here, the teenager needs to stand against their mom and say that their mom is nuts and their mom is somewhat caught in the 90s. All right. And does not evolve any longer to 21st centuries. Or the teenager should basically, I don't know, leave their house and live with someone else who will allow the teenager to uh, improve and to progress with the modern age. This is just for the teenager example. Or if um, this is your mother, for example, telling you how shit your boyfriend is and to leave it aside, you need to confront her and to tell her that, no, you will not do that because you are not uh, small anymore you're not a child and you can decide for yourself what to do without allowing anybody else to tell you what to do so basically it's about confrontation and it is about saying the truth into people's faces regardless how much conflict that truth is going to be uh, unleash uh, is going to unleash you know and you know that that makes me think of a recent conversation that I had with, with one client of mine saying that, yeah, what you said happened, but you could have been a little bit milder, you know, by saying it, because I am a sensitive person. Well, I'm sorry, guys, but there is only one truth, and there is only one way to say it, and that is the straight way. You, you, you know, you say it, and that's it. <clears throat> so, 
uh, that being said, this was uh, the weekly law of taroscope. Uh, for all 12 signs now, guys, you can ask your questions. And I will answer several questions by drawing one tarot card per question. So now I'm shuffling. And let's see what we got. Kerry Mochon or Mochon. I hope I pronounce your your names correctly, guys. Uh, excuse me if I don't, but she's asking. I just want to know what comes for me. Thank you. That will be the King of Swords for you. King of Swords does uh, represent a person who is uh, rather very uh, with a high authority, and that person is very good with. Um, speech with uh, with speech skill so it does depend is this person is going to be a rival or a ally of yours uh if it is a rival you need to expect a very furious uh competition here that could be a lawyer as well for you carry who if on your side is gonna win your trial if against you then you are gonna lose basically because this this person definitely knows uh how to win so I think that they're going to be neutral at first. And when you see that person with high authority, very good with speech, etc., etc., try to make impression because they are going to open you a doors that you can take towards success. This is Lao Petkova asks, what is about to happen in my personal life within the next three months? That will be the two of wands. So two of wands regarding personal life points to bruising. It points to um, high demands, you know, and ultimatums at some point. So you have to be very careful if you are the one who plays the ultimatums, you need to know that uh, sometimes you just being left with nothing. If uh, you are the one who the ultimatums are placed against, then uh, basically you should realize that you do have other options available, you know. Mm. Judy Hill, will my writing career take off soon? Not as soon as you think, Judy, but if it take, when it takes off, it's going to be for a long run. Now, one thing I want to give you as a hint here with the Tree of Pentacles is that you will not be able to do it on your own. All right? So you need someone like a mentor, someone who can support your development. All right? On your own is not going to take off. the race Presley actually this is a very interesting question this is because I don't believe in angels you know I believe in forces but not in angels uh, anyway so what the angels want me to know in this difficult time we do have the two of cups and they want you to know um, Heather that you are not alone in this whatever that difficult time is 
they want you to know that you are not alone in this and only if you reach your hand forward then you're gonna make the contact a contact with someone that will really share your burden uh, now Will the financial difficulties improve or will your financial state improve, Sundra? Because if the financial difficulties are going to improve, your financial state, your state is going to uh, be set further into upheaval. So, Katie nor growth i've been looking for love do you see anything well we do have the strength card huh let's say that with a lot of um, with a lot of compromises it could happen. I mean, you can have love, but with a lot of compromises. You will have a lot to explain to your parents, to, for example, to your friends. Because probably you would, you were standing against the criteria that you will have to accept if you want love. Will my Reiki healing service take off? Beatrice Cadena asks. Uh, for now, Beatrice, we do have the five of wands, and it speaks that is going to have ups and downs, uh, but not not with the extent that you want it. So basically, when we do have that card, it means that it has the potential to take off, but not with the current strategy you'd think of it. So basically, you need to. Uh, you need to redefine or kind of like refine your strategy, how you want to exert that particular business. So Sundra Diaz asks for her financial state. We do have the Ten of Swords and that card speaks for bankruptcy. I'm sorry. You know, only way for you to avoid bankruptcy is uh, when you take some irreversible uh, actions. You know, and irrevocable decisions. That is the only way, according to the Ten of Swords. Is it time for a career change? Teresa Pate, will I win my case? Three of Wands, you are getting there, Teresa. I mean... There is still what to be desired, I mean, but you are on the right track, you know. Uh, if you go on into that, that, my point is here with that card, is if you keep on doing what you are doing right now, uh, you will win, you know. But if you kind of like change strategy, it is unlikely. Thank you, Judy. Thank you for your compliment. Well, of course, Giselle, you can't. There is no need of case-sensitive letters. And your card is Seven of Cups. You are about to be disappointed because you have done something you shouldn't. And that disappointment will set you back on the right track. Just so you don't find yourself surprised, you know. All right, one more. And Merosan Sabina, will my love life going to improve? Is she asking? Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, it's going to improve. <clears throat> when? I don't know. But it's going to improve because the Nine of Pentacles, it is a about. 
bumping on the person that uh, totally suits you materially, however. So it's all about material, um, mutual, how can I place it, satisfaction, all right? So that being said, guys, this was uh, the tarot scope for the upcoming week, July 23rd to July 29th, 2018. Love tarot scope. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. If you uh, missed your star sign, you can rewatch the replay as soon as that video ends here on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel as well. And if you haven't watched the general weekly tarot readings, you can find them on my YouTube channel as well. And uh, in case you're interested in a private reading, uh, you can check out my website, sarotpredictions.net. You can find the services there. And as soon as the service is purchased, I will contact you and I will uh, schedule a, an appropriate time for your reading there. So that being said, uh, it was an honor to be your host tonight for that weekly taroscope. And we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.